Hey everyone, Abby here, and today we are going to take you on a tour of our 2002 Thomas school bus that we converted into an RV. So come along! So we like to call this little part here the mud room when it is not in operation to drive us from point A to point B, it becomes storage. We try to utilize every little bit of this space. So right now we're in between seasons and there's a lot of coats. So shoes go in here. This is coats. We have a charging station here where most of our charging of devices happens. As you come into the space, this is sort of our main living area. Under each one of these seats is storage, lifts up. We've got things such as school supplies, games, um, just everyday items that we need to have a space for essentially. This converts into a couch, as does this one as well, so that when we want to watch television, we can do so have a little family movie night. So one of the things we decided to do with this space when building our kitchen was we didn't want to put in a stove or an oven. We really wanted to grill and utilize our Coleman stove and our Coleman grill outside for that kind of cooking. So what we decided to do instead was we had our microwave which came with us from the apartment and we bought this convection toaster oven and boy this thing has really seen some better days. Like it was the one thing in the beginning of traveling that really took a beating as we were trying to figure out what was and wasn't going to fall. One of the things we also love is our instant pot. If you are a full-time traveler or a traveler in general, or just a human being, you should have an instant pot in your kitchen. They're amazing. They cook so fast. We love it. We do have a dishwasher. This was a huge find for us. So we do have a drawer dishwasher that we can use. Fantastic. If you look down here, this is all storage. Anything that we need for our kitchen is kept in here. Air conditioners, portables that we can move it around as needed. Come a little bit further down and this is our pantry. And a lot of people have said to us that it drives them nuts that the pantry doesn't come out to the edge of the counter. But this is why we did this because you can step in here <laughs> and someone can come by. So it's another way to like be able to move through the space. So that's why it doesn't quite look as, the line isn't quite as appealing. As we move through, we start to transition out of the kitchen into our unfinished bathroom. I'm gonna open this door and Jason's gonna go in. In here, in here you will see our compost toilet and the shower that will eventually be. Right now, it's a ton of storage and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it when the shower is complete. So, moving along. I think I can take these off now. So this is our boys' room. Uh, one of the things that was really important to us when we decided to build was that we wanted each child to have their own dedicated space. We didn't want to have to convert anything at the end of the day and then return it to a table or a couch. So each child has their own bunk. This, and I'll show you here, is Jack's. They have curtains. And then inside, this is just their special little space. You know, one of the things I really wanted to do as well was make it feel like it belonged to them putting things on the walls that perhaps came from home or that they have accumulated i also really wanted them to be able to have privacy you know it's really important when you live in such small spaces to just have a place you can go to be by yourself so each boy has one ethan is up here henry is down here 
And then another thing too with our bonks is that these two, Ethan and Henry, these guys open up. So what you do is you come in, you pull, and this comes up. And underneath here is where we keep all three boys' clothes. As you can see, it is packed full to the brim. We have both seasons in here right now. So this is great. It's on hydraulics. It comes up. We're done. We don't need what anything closes up. It's done. It's put away. Another really great feature that was important to us was that they had a place that they could play. So, and also that I could bring all 500 books that I just couldn't bear to part with. So this is a piece from Ikea that was actually in our apartment that we brought along. Jason planned this whole thing out so that books and miscellaneous can come here. When we travel, we have a little device for the most part, holds everything in. Goes across, keeps stuff from sliding out. Now here, this will lift up, and underneath, this goes all the way to the wall, and we keep bigger toys, art supplies, some more school stuff, just random things that the kids might want to need. So we can, uh, we can move on to the last little bit. So if you come back here, this is Jason and I's room. This is actually our queen size bed from our apartment. I will not go into what it was like trying to get this thing in here. <laughs> we will be cutting it into quarters when it's time to take it out. Um, one thing I should mention, and I forgot to mention it up front, is we opted to do open shelves as well. Makes Travel day is a little bit trickier because there's more stuff that needs to come down, but we really wanted our space to feel bigger. We have a little closet here where we keep some of our clothes that we really need to have hung up, dress clothes, things like that. We keep sheets in here. Down here is another one of these black cubes that has like dress shoes and not everyday shoes that Jason and I wear. And uh, I will step here and let Jason come in. And we have across from us our dedicated office space. So Jason and I work from the road. We run four different websites. So between the two of us, we're always pretty busy. This space allows us to have somewhere to go to if we need to have a phone conversation or just work in private. We can shut the door. This is, I love this space. I spend a lot of time in here. Um, Speaking of privacy, the kids have their curtains. We have a door. So, and again, we get a lot of questions about privacy. This is one of the ways we solved it. So, another little bit of privacy. If Jason and I are up front, kids are in the back, we have a curtain. There you go, shut off at the end of the night. Um, but yeah. This is our home. This is um, was a labor of love for sure. Took us and is still obviously because of the bathroom. It's been about a year. This is a 37 foot 2002 Thomas. And we love her. We call her Wonder Bus. We love her a lot. We have enjoyed our time here and we've enjoyed having you come see our space. have any questions about anything you've seen on here definitely subscribe to our channel and we look forward to talking to you guys next time bye